Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hey there Capricorn welcome to your reading for the mid-month check-in January 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get into it Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for uh, mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorns, so um, I am seeing white energy and green energy for you. Now the green energy is speaking to earthly things, so finances and career. And that is something that came out in the, uh, the uh, extra special reading that I put out for you guys. As, um, because I, you know, I did do that, I did that one first, um, and I did it in a completely different way, but I don't want the messages to get lost, so I, I have put it out here for you guys, but uh, I feel in that reading, a lot of the message that was coming through was about career and finances and um, changing things up, going in a new direction, maybe even starting your own business. So I feel like Capricorn, you're really very much focused on your finances right now, and that's pretty collective all around. Um, so if you haven't checked out that reading yet, I highly recommend that you do so. All right. All right. But the white energy is also purity. And to me, that speaks to the inner child. And there's been a lot of inner child energies coming through lately, a lot of inner child work for the collective. And I really feel like that is connecting you more with your heart center. If you're not doing that, any sort of inner child work or just connecting with your inner child, trying to heal your inner child, 
um, uh, it is suggested that you do so. We are very much in those energies right now, and that's definitely influenced by the divine feminine energy that's on the rise. Um, but that could be connecting with you back with something that your heart truly desires, or it's helping you reconnect with your heart's desire here, or reconnect with your heart chakra, yeah? All right, Capricorn, one more shuffle for you. And then we're going to get into it. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Boop. All righty, Capricorn. Let's see what we've got here. Overall energy, we're starting you out with strength. That's excellent, Capricorn. So um, you're really... I really feel like many of you are getting back to your own truths and you may be finding the strength or you have found the strength um, up until now where you are allowing yourself to be a truer, more authentic version of yourself. And with Uranus and Aries at the moment, um, that is really the focus for a lot of us, for all of us right now. You have the two of pentacles. So here, this is more, I mean, in that other reading that I did for you guys, it was a lot of pentacles energy. And so we're already starting you off with that here. Um, the, the Two of Pentacles here is talking about balance and security. It's talking about you keeping your finances in check. Some of you may be in a position where you are trying to regain your financial balance or stability after the holiday season. Um, and with your with you your birthdays, at least in the Western chart, with your birthdays falling on around Christmas, um, there might have been a lot of spending that's happening there, but I just really feel like you guys are working on getting your finances back in check, but also trying to understand what it is you can do to move forward in your career, how you can have a better financial future for yourself, a better financial re financial right reality, excuse me, I can't talk, <laughs> financial reality for yourselves, maybe even trying to change jobs. We have the five of swords also. So there's probably some conflict. There may be some conflict within the business sector, um, uh, within a job, so with employees, something like that. Um, but this is really negative, destructive, lose-lose conflict. So many, some of you may be trying to understand um, or figure out how you can either alleviate this conflict or mitigate it or just, uh, or, uh, yeah, either mitigate it or alleviate it altogether um, and find a new financial venture for you guys. And there's that Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands came out in that other, other reading for you guys too. So there's some inspiration here. It looks like you're really trying to move in a new direction and your inner strength is helping provide you with that. Your ego may be flaring up too. Um, you may be having to avoid um, conflict. Uh, there could be some ego triggering happening for you, Capricorn. Um, conflict with others. I really do feel like this, it, it, it could be conflict with a soulmate. This is something that just came through, but it also could be conflict with uh, coworkers. I'm picking up specifically with a boss of some sort. All right. So, okay, let's get into, so the first set, this first row here is going to be what's going on currently for you. What's been going on up from the end of the, from the beginning of the month up until about the 15th. And then the second row is going to be like a forecast of looking at what's coming on down the line or what you could be moving towards at the end of the month. Okay. So first set of surrounding energies for you currently, we have the lovers. Ooh. So yeah, you definitely could be dealing with or connecting with a soulmate. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could be dealing with a Leo here with the, uh, the, the strength card in as your first card, right? Um, what I'm getting here is you're having, some of you are having the strength to look at something clearly, trying to see something from a different angle. Um, but also this is about, this is a union energy too of sorts. This isn't necessarily a union card. It could be um, seen that way, but this to me is more of the balance between masculine and feminine energy. Um, this is also could be a choice. You may be trying, you may be in conflict with a lover, a soulmate, someone that you've been, had a relationship with, could be a, a, a romantic relationship or could just be a friendship. And I do see a good amount of conflict here for you. But ultimately, I think you're trying to make, I feel like you're trying to make a choice as to what the best option would be for you, okay? You do have balancing energies here with the two of pentacles, kind of juggling, maybe going back and forth on a situation which is probably, which may be causing even more conflict for you, all right? The lovers is coupled with, yeah, the three of swords. So there's some sort of heartbreak going on here. There is, there could be the breakup of a romantic relationship. It also could be a business relationship too. But in the face of this heartbreak 
con uh, Capricorn, you are making, you are in the process of trying to make a decision um, and weighing the options. You know, with this Two of Pentacles, I really see you logically thinking this through and saying, okay, what would be better? Should I walk away? Should I stay? What do we do? And if I stay, how can we even, how can we get past this conflict with the Five of Swords, all right? Second set of surrounding energies for you currently, you have the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, understanding. This is what you're striving towards. This is what, to, this is what you're really trying to work on. Again, trying to see things clearly, like that, which, which is actually what came out with the lovers. And inner strength is playing a really big role here. I really feel like you need to be looking at this situation from a logical standpoint, doing the best that you can to tame the ego in order to see things as clearly as possible to make the best decision moving forward. Capricorn, I really don't see you as the type of individual that would make a decision willy nilly. It just doesn't, that just will not fly with you. I don't, it really won't fly with many of, with any of the earth signs. I mean, it could be I don't know, maybe Taurus would be the most inclined towards that, but even still, that's a stretch, okay? Ace of Swords is coupled with, woo, yep, the King of Swords. You really are trying to make a very logically based decision. And I really see this King of Swords energy staring this Five of Swords energy, energy straight in the face and saying, what the hell do I do about this? Because I don't wanna fight like this anymore. I just don't have the time, the patience, or the energy for this kind of tomfoolery, and I'm just not about to have it. So how do we move forward from here, all right? Your challenge in this current energy, you have 10 of cups, happiness, wanting the happiness. And the 10 of cups did in fact come out in this other reading that you had, that uh, this extra bonus reading that I'm, I've put out for you guys. Um, this really could be finances and career, or it could be a love relationship. It really could go either way. But what you're challenged with right now is finding a way to move forward towards your Ten of Cups, to experience more or, or express yourself in a way that is more conducive to generating or manifesting a Ten of Cups reality. What is a Ten of Cups reality? It can be many different things. Um, it can be a family, it can be your ideal job, your ideal career, whatever would bring you that ultimate fulfillment. Um, and I actually have been seeing the Ten of Cups as uh, the an ultimate union within card of the union between the masculine, the feminine, and the inner child within. And whatever, and and that and bringing that into balance is going to bring you greater stability. So your challenge is focusing on what would truly be that most fulfilling situation for you, whether that be in a relationship um, or that be in a business venture, yeah? Like career-wise. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles also came out in that extra reading. So we are definitely talking about uh, business and finances for some of you. But the other thing about this is Capricorn is your challenge is to not only identify or start to work towards identifying what would be a greater expression of ultimate fulfillment for you, but taking it methodically, taking it step by step. Like I said, you're not really trying to, or you're advised not to make any decisions uh, willy nilly, fly by the seat of your pants, that kind of situation. Work steadily towards this situation. Work steadily towards achieving um, this ultimate fulfillment. Um, you know, take it step by step, take it methodically. I really do feel like a lot of you are already seeing it that way, but there are obviously, there could be some of you that are trying to just cut and run and that's not advised right now, okay? Because that's really not going to help you have that stability to maintain that 10 of cups should you achieve it, 11-11 on the counter. All right, the closing message here for you or the potential outcome in these current energies up until the mid-month, the, big, the middle of the month here, you have the Three of Pentacles. And this, again, also came out for you guys in that extra reading. I highly recommend that you check that out. Again, that was, that was I was picking up more of a career and finance situation because there were a lot of Pentacles that came out, also a lot of Cups. But again, the Cups were talking about the emotional fulfilling aspect, the creative aspect, the creative uh, expression, the authenticity. But with this Three of Pentacles here, I really do feel like you guys are not only working towards some sort of self-mastery, but also some of you could be trying to start your own business. 
um, and in identifying the truth of the situation here what is the best way for you to move forward you're also trying to identify if you do want to start a new business how you would go about that what kind of business is this what would I be doing with this business how do we how would we make money planning things out that is what the energy of the Knight of Pentacles are best utilized for uh, creating the blueprint yeah three of Pentacles is coupled with oh boy the two of cups so you have uh, the depiction of the minor arcana version of the lovers here and we're definitely talking about a union energy the masculine and feminine energies uh, um, within uh, union wise and stability wise you could also be dealing with a soulmate here um, and working towards reconciliation of sorts but the reconciliation is coming through teamwork um, how do we work together how do we make this work as a team instead of just approaching things from an individual basis for some of you that could have been the situation or the detriment to your relationship you two may have been you know together but you were still kind of working from an independent place and if you want to have this long-standing emotional connection this this family type connection ultimately you two have to work together not separately or even against each other for some of you that could really be what this conflict is here with the five of swords all right so getting into the 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 end of the month what could be coming through for you in the end of the month first set of surrounding energies you have the eight of swords so feeling trapped feeling like you're in a mental prison but honestly that mental prison is self-imposed because at any point all you have to do is work on stopping the thought processes that are keeping you in this position to begin with and then just moving forward okay um but i do kind of see you guys working towards coming out of this mental prison because i feel like this has been something that has been going on the whole month or maybe even before that this could be this could have been going on for a few months now but this eight of sword situation this mental prison is really becoming into focus for you especially with this king of swords energy that you're embodying currently okay eight of swords is coupled with seven of cups illusions illusions of grandeur what you would need to do in order to break out of this mental prison of sorts is to see things as clearly as possible and like i said that is what you're working towards right now now also you guys could be dealing with uh an air sign uh, air, uh, aquarius gemini or libra maybe aquarius specifically because the king of swords is a masculine energy which is fixed energy and the fixed air sign is aquarius but it could be either of them uh, or excuse me it could be any of them but this is why you are facing this energy of feeling like you're in some sort of mental prison because there is a lack of clarity here that you're experiencing but again like i said uh, towards the end of the month this is coming into the focus in coming into focus for you and you're starting to work towards understanding or seeing things clear as clearly as possible okay second set of surrounding energies for the end of your month you have the world excellent all right okay <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it may not be, it not, may not feel so excellent because you do have this three of swords with the lovers here. So some of you could be coming to the end of a relationship. Um, and the only reason I would say that's excellent is because um, this is, has been a cause for turmoil for you. And so I really feel like it's finally coming to completion here. Now, the other excellent aspect to this could be whatever conflict that you're dealing with with someone could actually come to completion. All right meaning the conflict conflict is squashed and you guys can probably either go or move forward together in a new light because we do have three of pentacles that is teamwork representing teamwork uh in some situations or you move on going on in your uh your your own direction but i do see whatever conflict that you're dealing with coming to completion to an extent okay the world is coupled with yep look at that the queen of swords you have the king and the queen um right underneath each other. So now the Queen of Swords did come out in your extra reading. So again, please go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so already. But what I'm seeing here is in the uh, currently for your month, you're in the process of being diplomatic and working towards seeing things as clearly as possible. Maybe even hearing people out. The King of Swords is, in my opinion, is much more inclined towards hearing someone's argument than um, the Queen of Swords would be because the Queen of Swords is just like, look, I don't have time for this, and I'm just gonna cut and I'm just gonna cut it out and move forward. We don't even need to discuss it. I don't need to hear your excuses or your reasoning. 
I'm really not even trying to explain anything to you. I really don't need to explain anything to you. All I know is this does not work for me and it's, I'm cutting it out. It's done. Goodbye. It's over. It doesn't even have to be a thing. It's not even, we don't have to be enemies. Quite frankly, I don't care if we're enemies or not. This just doesn't serve me, so I'm cutting it out, okay? All of that is said by the Queen of Swords. And that makes perfect sense because by now, you're com you're bringing the situation to completion. So either you or someone else, whoever it is you're dealing with, or maybe just you, Capricorn, I do feel like mostly this is you. There is an energy of just ending it. Done. Done. Completed and moving on with your life, okay? Your challenge at the end of the month, we have the Nine of Cups. So some of you could be, that's really interesting. You had the 10 of cups as the challenge in the beginning, and now you have the nine of cups as your challenge in the end of the month. That's really cool. Um, lots of, there's a good amount of synchronicity there. But um, what the nine of cups is saying, for some of you, this could be dealing with, now this could be the other person, Capricorn, if you cut them out, dealing with, the, the, dealing with things through an emotional response. Um, drowning your sorrows, uh, sorrows, uh, self-medicating. That could be you, Capricorn, or it could be the other person that you're cutting out. Um, but the challenge here is to go towards wish fulfillment. Now, it could also be challenging because your wish fulfillment invo could involve ending something, okay? And that could involve heartbreak for the other person, maybe even heartbreak for you. And that may be why this wish fulfillment is challenging because you have to deal with some sort of loss, some sort of ending, some sort of heartbreak in order for you to achieve what it is your, you, your heart desires. Nine of Cups is coupled with the Page of Wands. And this is another card that also came out during your extra reading. The Page of Wands, it, it's so, okay, the Page of Wands is really about self-discovery. Um, it's also about uh, uh, inspiration, wanting to embark on a new creative project. But what I see here for you, Capricorn, is um, understanding who you are on a more authentic scale and then bringing that into fruition. That is, that could be a good, a good challenge, especially if I feel like some of you have may have been stuck or rooted in some sort of situation that really ultimately wasn't serving you in the way that either you thought it would or the way that you wanted it to. Um, but there is a need for self-discovery so that you can move forward towards your fulfillment, your happiness, your abundance, that kind of thing, okay? The closing message here for you for the end of the month, you have the death card. Boop! All right, so there's that transformation. Um, and that's a good thing. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but... Ultimately, there's a transformation that's happening, and that ha kind of has been the, the theme of your month, you know? So by the end of the month, I do feel like either that the, the, um, the transformation has happened, or it's in the works, or you're moving, you're really working towards it, okay? Energies are fluid, so this really doesn't have to necessarily happen during this month, th during this time period that we're focusing on, but these would be the messages for you for that time. This is just what's coming out for that time, okay? Death is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Booyah, completion, okay? Finally releasing those burdens, letting them go. The transformation comes into fruition by releasing yourself from the burdens, the obligations, this, that, and the third. What's underneath this Ace of Wands? The Nine of Wands, all right. Um, the Nine of Wands is underneath, this really wants to be seen, so I'm gonna take it out. The Nine of Wands is underneath the Ace of Wands and I feel like with you are you're really you're very much in a battered and bruised situation potentially okay whoever this is resonating with this could be you Capricorn this could be the other person again this is a general reading take it as it resonates guys um, but you're needing to make this change because you have some sort of inspiration here so you're going straight from the ten of wands to the ace of wands you see what I mean and you're currently I honestly I really feel like currently at this moment in time because this second row here is is looking towards the end of the month then the, I feel like you're very much in this nine of wands energy that makes perfect sense and you're after this new beginning this new start wanting to start over wanting to make a major change wanting to go in a new creative direction by the end of the month you really reach that transformation or by the end of this cycle we'll say this could just be the messages for this month or it could happen for this month for you okay but by the end of this cycle you reach the 10 which is the completion and the transformation in death and so you can finally release those burdens and move forward 
in a new way. All right? That's that's pretty excellent. I know it feels kind of heavy. It sounds kind of heavy at the moment, but that really feels really good for you, Capricorn. It does feel like a really good ending, even though it might be kind of tumultuous, a little heartbreaking, whatnot, whatever. It still feels good in the long run. All right. So let's get your Oracle guidance here for the end of the month from the unicorns. All righty. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It looks like a card was flipped over here. No. Okay, cool. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we've got for you here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best message, please, Spirit, for the end of January for our mid-month check-in, January 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, that wanted to come out. All right, so you have... Oof. Underneath the deck, you have strength, and you started the, re the reading with strength. Look at that. Please excuse the smokiness, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm burning some sage. So I don't know if the, if the video looks smoky or if it's just the atmosphere in my room. Anyway, you have strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation, okay? That's a really beautiful message. You also have abundance, anger, and patience. Okay. Now, Capricorn, you being a uh, cardinal energy, you may have, you may struggle with patience every once in a while. All right. So that's a pretty serious message, especially with this serious energy that's going on here. You know, your patience could be wearing thin, but you're really needing to pull on that. And the, there is an abundance of patient energy within the universe that you, within yourself also, that you can tap into. Abundance says, enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you and i do feel like some of you that are trying to make some sort of career change you may be afraid of not being able to do so because of a lack of funds a lack of abundance whatnot whatever that does sound seem like something that you know not only just capricorn but earth signs would be concerned with um but the universe is there to support you so just follow follow the signs follow your intuition anger safely express your anger use anger as a positive force honor all of your emotions as sacred so don't, don't stuff anything down, okay? This is definitely not the time or the age to do that anymore. We have emotions. They are, we need to honor them because they are our compass, okay? So use that as a way to propel you forward. That would be a really good way to safely express your anger. Talk about it, communicate with people, but also cultivate that and put it into a, a sort of momentum to move you in whatever direction you're wanting to go. Patience, pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. I mean, there really isn't that. That kind of says it all right there. All right, Capricorn. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box down below. And I wish you guys a very great, a very happy birthday. For those of you who your birthday is still coming up, for those of you who already had your birthday, who it passed, I wish you that. A happy birthday as well, yeah? And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!